All right, now we're going to import some footage. Now for me, I like to put the footage in the same directory, in this case, my desktop video temp directory. I have it set to. And in that folder now, I've downloaded a video called Big Buck Bunny. And if you look at the show notes, I got some notes in there. And if you look through my notes, I have a link to it. But if you just type in Big Buck Bunny video download, you can find it pretty easy on the internet. All right. And what I want to do is make sure that's in that folder. Is that important? Well, to me it is. I like to keep that in that folder. Uh, any imported video, I'll, I'll even put a new folder sometimes in here called imported footage and then the piece I'm working on. In this case, is a brand new setup. So there's Big Buck Bunny. Now what I want to do is import it in here. So I'll go to the menu below and go add movie and choose Big Buck Bunny. So that's, again, if I can't browse out, desktop, video temp, there's Big Buck Bunny. This other one is a preview video. Um, if you don't have that one, no big deal. You'll probably end up with it sooner or later when you go to render something out. Okay, so now let's set this up. The first thing we want to do is click anywhere in here and hit the home key on your keyboard. Now we can use the middle mouse button, click and drag, to navigate down here, back and forth. We can also use the scroll mouse to zoom in and out. What I want to do is set my preview range from the beginning to the end. I do that by going into frame, set preview range, and click and drag from here to here. Now you'll notice my start frame is like 3000 and my end frame is here. My start frame should be 1. So in this case, I have to move the footage down here. Well, I can do that by locating this section right over here with all the uh, channel start frame length. And I can set my start frame to 1 over here. And then I can click this one by right clicking it and set my start frame to 1 there also. And then I can establish a new preview range. Set preview range. Perfect. Now over here, um, we have everything that you need to know about the video except for the frame rate. So you'll look at this by right clicking it and you'll see 1920 by 1080. You need to match that number with these numbers. So 1920 in X, just type that here, 1080 down here below. This footage is, it came in really clean, but sometimes you'll see something that looks like this. If you see that occur, that is being imported at the wrong frame rate. And sometimes, in most cases, you won't be able to tell what frame rate it is unless you use some kind of external program. Or you can just kind of page through these until you see them sync up at the end. In this case, this video is set to 24 frames per second. I should now be able to scrub across the timeline using the left mouse button and see the footage. If I want the audio to show up, I have to use AV Sync. Now when I hit play, you can see the footage plays with the audio. So anywhere you click this green line, with left click, it plays from there. Let's hit pause. So that's how you import footage, set the frame rate, set the dimensions, and use AV Sync to, along with the left mouse button and play to preview the footage. Let's go on to the next video.